Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to let you know that we're getting down to the nitty gritty for all our plants. Um, we still have, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we still have some blue agastache. I thought we sold most of it, but I ended up finding some more. <laughs> um, we do have two Asclepius incarnata, which I also thought I sold, but my plants were so thick I couldn't find them. Um, so we have two more of those. Um, we do have a few of the Monarda fistulosa still left. Um, we have one indigo, which I never, um, I meant to post, but I never did. We have one available, uh, blue in color. Amazing. Baptisia australis. Um, we also have probably four or five of the Helianthus, Helianthiotis, which is the false uh, sunflower. We have some, um, still, some beautiful purple joe pie weed. Um, amazing, um, great for pollinators in the fall. Um, you just can't beat it. They do seed a little, but they're not crazy. And because they're native, they're fantastic. I would plant this everywhere in my yard if I could. Um, let's see. Oh, we also have the, um, Echinacea pallida, I forgot. Pale purple coneflower, um, which is this right here. Um, we still have some of those. Those are really awesome for the fall as well because the finches like to feed on their seeds and other birds, and the butterflies love their flowers. Um, they will probably bloom next year when they mature. Um, we have a small blue uh, lobelia, lobelia syphilitica. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Um, yes, these guys are chewed, but I got to see a lot of blue azures this spring and a few in the summer. Um, this is their larval host plant, um, which this is the um, freckled violet. They're amazing. I love them. They do spread. They're, they, I think they classified them recently as a viola sororia. Um, these are the Echinacea paradoxa, those beautiful yellow cone flowers that I have um, posted to the page. And these, um, I can't believe these haven't sold. Maybe I haven't pushed them enough. But these here are the um, hairy beard tongue. Um, beautiful light lavender colored purple flowers with a white tip on them. They're gorgeous. The hummingbirds love them. All kinds of pollinators love them. You can grow them in the, in the sun in two even part shade. Um, I have a few Aguila canadensis, um, which is our native red columbine. Um, they're available. Um, I think I have four of them. There's two here on, on the stand. Um, this is um, narrow-leaved mountain mint. Um, beautiful white flowers. Um, I bet these guys would have bloomed if I had them in the ground. They are a mature plant. Um, maybe still I'll see something at some point. Um, they do spread. They are in the mint family, um, but they are, you know, if you put them in the ground in some place, you don't mind them taking over. Um, and I, even saying taking over isn't quite the right word. They're not as aggressive as I expected them to be. Um, I love them. I have them in my gardens. Um, I guess that's it for now. I do plan to dig up a few more things, but that's it for now. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.